Solar Flare. The glowing yellow orb of life floating millions of miles away at the center of our solar system flared up in a massive, massive way this week. A massive storm over the sun on Wednesday discharged the strongest solar flare in 10 years. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the X9.3 flare caused high-frequency radio blackouts and navigational issues over the sunlit part of Earth. According to NASA, solar flares take place when magnetic energy built up within the sun's atmosphere is suddenly released. They impact everything on the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. The energy released is equivalent to millions of 100 megaton nuclear bombs exploding at the same time. The last solar flare of similar strength occurred in 2006, and the strongest on record took place in 2001. Stay tuned for more stories on the sun. Signs and symptoms of eye damage after an eclipse. Americans turned out in droves to watch the solar eclipse, and to the amazement of medical professionals, few have reported eye problems. That being said, CNN reports that Google experienced a spike in search terms like my eyes hurt and eyes hurt eclipse following the eclipse. So a horde of eye patients may be upon us. Staring directly at the eclipse can cause solar retinopathy, a condition where radiation from the sun is focused through the eyes and burns the retina. Symptoms of this include headaches, watery and painful eyes, sensitivity to bright light, blurry or distorted vision, the occurrence of new blind spots, and a difficulty to differentiate between colors. The harm to vision can be temporary and swelling in the eye may go down, but the damage can be permanent. And naturally, if you think you've got any problems, you should go see a doctor. This jumbo-sized planet Earth may support alien life. American scientists have discovered a supersized Earth-like planet in a nearby star system that could support alien life. Exoplanet LHS 1140b orbits a red dwarf star every 25 days at a proximity 10 times closer than Earth to the Sun. This red dwarf star is much dimmer and cooler than our Sun, meaning the star's habitable zone is closer. However, its cosmic radiation could still damage the planet. LHS 1140b is 1.4 times the size of planet Earth, but is almost seven times heavier, indicating that it's likely composed of rock and an iron core. It's because of this density that researchers believe the planet may be robust enough to endure the radiation and still hold water. Scientists will be able to examine the 5 billion year old exoplanet much further after NASA launches the James Webb Telescope in 2018. Meet our sun's long-lost evil twin. Scientists have long believed that stars are born with at least one companion. Unfortunately, there hasn't been much evidence to support this theory until now. A new study has found that sun-like stars initially form as wide binaries and either come together or break apart over the next million years. Some systems like the Alpha Centauri even form as triplets. Our sun would have been separated by a distance of 500 or more astronomical units from its twin star before it was believed to have moved farther away. The twin has been dubbed Nemesis after scientists hypothesized that it had knocked an asteroid out of orbit and sent it hurtling toward Earth. They say that asteroid eventually collided with our planet and killed off the dinosaurs. Still, Nemesis has never actually been found, and the idea that it may be responsible for catastrophic events on Earth has yet to be proved. We're going to the Sun. NASA is planning an ambitious new mission to touch the Sun that will supposedly revolutionize our understanding of the Yellow Dwarf Star. Solar Probe Plus is set to launch in summer 2018 and will orbit within 4 million miles of the Sun's surface, closer than any spacecraft has approached before. The probe will be equipped with a carbon composite heat shield to help it withstand temperatures of more than 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It will collect data from the corona, the sun's outer atmosphere, to help solve the mystery of why it's millions of degrees hotter than the surface. Scientists aim to study solar activity in detail, particularly how solar winds are accelerated. This could improve forecasts of space weather events, which can shake the Earth's magnetic field and impact satellite communications, astronaut safety, power grids, and radiation on flights. NASA is in the process of building the Solar Probe Plus and has already installed key elements, including the cooling system, 